Hey everybody, it's Crappy here. Hope everybody's doing well out there. Well, I'm going to do something a little different today. Um, the burning question, how, how should I bet? How much should I bet? Now really, in my opinion, the, the way to win is to press or regress in order to win. Now it's possible to roll the dice out and win, you know, just without doing anything. So I'm going to have four different players here. This one is only going to play one number. Let's say the eight. This one's going to play the six and the eight. This one's going to do 110 inside. This one's going to do 160 across. So starting with 300, 600, 1100, 1600 for 10 shooters. And I mean, that's not your huge sample size, but let's just see which way, which one ends up winning um, or losing the, the less. This isn't really a strategy. This is like more informative, I guess. And I'm just, I guess my job is crappy is to think of ways to, you know, crazy ways to play. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing. But I'm just kind of going to experiment here. And we'll see what's up now granted I'm gonna have to keep up with all this not gonna be easy but I'm up for the challenge all right let's try it so this guy's playing one just the eight so how many ever eights hit that's all he's playing but he has less bankroll this guy six and eight this guy 110 inside this guy 160 across and my bank's a little thin here, so I have to make a bunch of change and stuff throughout, but we'll work all that out. All right, let's try it. I'm not gonna do pass line or don't, just gonna play straight numbers. Here we go, let's see what happens. All right, we got a six. All right, this guy, number one guy, is gonna play the eight. This guy, number two guy, is gonna play the six and the eight. This one is going to do number three. It's going to do 110 inside. This guy, the greedy guy, is going to pay, play 160. Did I put two somewhere? Nope. 160 across. Now I know he's supposed to play, pay a big for this. I don't have it in the bankroll. We'll just skip that for this part. This is just an experiment. So we're not paying bigs on the 10. I'm just going to pay them like you did. But at the end of it all, it'll probably be 15, 20 bucks. But that matters. But all right. So no bigs. Here we go. And we got a 10. So he got a free, got out on that big right out of the gate, right? This guy's going to win. 50 bucks all the way across guy and look another 10 he's off to a good start he's gonna win but he's got the most invested that's kind of what I'm gonna show there's an eight on an eight everybody's gonna get paid it's gonna be a big challenge for me to keep up with all this all right so this guy's gonna collect 35 this one's going to collect 35, this one's going to collect 35, and this guy's going to collect 35. All right. I think everything's straight right now. And we got a craps three. And we got another eight. Working out good for that eight guy. He has the least invested. 35 here. Alright, so this guy's going to get paid 35. This player's going to get paid 35. This player's going to get paid 35. And this guy's going to get paid 35. Alright, we're rolling. And we got a craps 3 that uh, don't help nobody. And we got another eight. Dude, the eight guy is coming out like a bandit. Everybody gets 
pay 35. Okay, he gets it here. Make sure I'm doing this right. Oops. Let's swap those out. Let's swap these out. And this one does pay 35. All right, we're straight. We're still rolling. And a yo 11. And another 8. Look at that. All right, I am going to need some more red. five so these both these guys get a green chip these come over here could have grabbed out some more red chips all right well we hit an eight everybody's getting paid again that's where I can mess up make them change hope y'all are interested in this kind of thing I'm just there's Wiley. I don't know who he's barking at. Wiley! Sorry about that, y'all. Everybody's getting paid. He's trying to protect us. That's what he's trying to do. All right. We rolling. And another eight. Looks like the eight guy could have the big advantage here. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. All right, everybody's getting paid. All right, we rolling. And we sevened out. See, that's the thing is he had a lot of hits, but he had the most invested. Did he really? Granted, there'd be some pressing and regressing in there and different ways of doing things. All right, shooter number one. This guy's practically got his whole bankroll back. Let's see who went. How much should we bet? That's the question. Six. All right, let's start with him over here. He only bets the eight. He's a tightwad. This guy right here. He's not really a tight wad. He's just smart. That's the one I think is going to end up winning. This one is 110. Shooter number three. And we got old money bags over here. Keeps throwing his money at 160. Do you know how many hits it takes him to get his money back? Four. Most of the time, maybe five. Just to get his money back. All right, I think I did everything right. We rolling. And we got a three. And we hit a four. All right, he didn't pay a VIG, but we don't care. He's gonna win 50 bucks anyway. Free VIGs today. I think that'd be a cool thing for a casino to do. Midnight, have free VIGs for a certain time. Oh, seven out. You know who won on that one, don't you? The, little, the guy playing just the eight. All right, what's coming out? And we got a nine. All right, here's old tightwad here. He just sits there patiently. This guy's not really a tight one. I'd say he's smart. This guy, he, he has a good chance. We'll see what happens. All right, and this guy's a 160. He's old money bags here, and he don't realize that he's digging him a hole if he don't press or regress. He's gonna lose the most. Maybe. We'll see. That's why we're doing this. I see so many people go play 160 across and don't do anything. Just collect or just keep pressing all the time. And then they walk away with no money. But, who knows? There's another eight. 
All right, the eight. Everybody gets paid on the eight. How am I doing so far with the deal? Keeping up with all this. I think I'm doing it right. He gets paid. He gets paid. He gets paid. Look at Mr. Eight down here. Patient Eight. He's doing good. All right, we roll him. And look, there's Mr. Eight again the hard way. Everybody gets paid on that. He's going to need some more change here. Let's see. Let's take it from Mr. Eight here. He gets 50. Okay. All right. Pay these guys up. This might end up being a long video, guys. I got time. You got the time, I got the time. All right, here we go. And we got a midnight. And we got a yo 11. And we got a seven out. I'm kinda anxious to see how this comes out, guys. Coming out and seven on the come out and nine is our point. All right, O Tightwad down here. He's the one that's actually winning right now. He's the only one winning. This guy, I think he's going to do fine. That's how I normally play six and eight and work it out from there. All right, this is the one ten guy. See how he does. This this one, he's got to get up, get some green. All the way across. Gets paid on every number, but he has the most invested. Took him sixteen hundred dollars to play. Alright, let's see what happens. We hit the nine. It's a point. All right. I'm just going to pay these guys 35 each. All right. We roll them coming out. Bets are off. Seven. Good thing they're off. And we got a 10. All right. Let's see what's up. There's a midnight. We got a six. All right, three of them's going to get paid. This guy, this one, and that one. All right. Guess I ought to get some change here because I know I'm going to need it. This one gets 50. This one gets 75. And I think that's probably enough for now. All right, let's roll it. Did I pay him on that six? Yeah, I think I did. All right, and there's a seven out. All right, coming out again. We're not quite halfway through. We'll see how many people can stick with this one. We're at 14 minutes now. It's probably going to be a long one. All right, eight's our point. Speaking of eight. We got our old fella down here that just wants to play on the eight. This guy, 
He plays the six and the eight. This one does one ten. One ten. Inside. And here's old money bags. Two hundred going out. I'm using my blue chips for 500s, okay? Um, there's 75. Okay. I think we got enough in there for now. Here we go. And pays 50. I remember one time we was playing in uh, Biloxi and I was playing the tower and some other guy was, he was playing the tower with black chips and we won. It, was, it got down to just me and him about three in the morning and we won all the chips in the bank and because it was so late, well, they had to cash us in with some chips to get it up to play with. They apparently at a certain time they quit changing the money out or something like that. I'm not sure why. But we won all the green and all the black. <laughs> that was a good night. All right, there's a nine. All right, he wins and he wins. All right, we rolling. Who is gonna win this thing? Who's gonna come out to the most profit or the least loss? All right, the four is gonna pay 50 right here. Without a VIG, you got free VIGs. There's a five. It's gonna pay 35 to these two guys, to the 110 and the 160. seven down. I think this is a useful experiment here. <coughs> I don't know what you guys think. You might think I'm crazy as hell. Well, I am. I'm not your most normal person, just so you know. All right, here we go. We are coming out. And we got a yo 11. There is no point in your 11. This isn't. There's an 8. This isn't crapless. Alright, here's our old tightwad down here. He's playing 
just the eight. Mr. Smart Guy, in my opinion, he's playing the. So that's who I'm pulling for. And this guy's 110. There's 100. 10. Okay. This guy is 160. He's going to need some green. He's all the way across. Answer that question. How should you bet? All right, here we go. And when that happens, this guy wins. Everybody else is in trouble. That is seven out. You're going to have point sevens. All right. We got, what, four more shooters to go. And we are now 21 minutes. So hang in there, guys. We'll see who the winner is. All right, there's an eight. All right, buddy. There you are, just playing your eight. Here's the smartest guy of all of us. We'll see though. He's playing the six and the eight. This guy needs some green. 110. He's in the third slot. And here's Mr. 160. He needs 200 in green. The reason I'm not taking it out of here is because I'm keeping it separate. So I should run out on all of them at the same time. If not, I did something wrong. Oops, he goes over here. He's in the fourth slot. Should be, oh, I put two on this one. I was wondering why there wasn't fifty dollars left. It's easy to make a mistake in this deal. So far, I think I've been keeping up with it pretty good. All right, let's see what's up. We got a six. Three winners on that one. All right, he's gonna win. This one's gonna win, and the one, this one's gonna win. All right, here we go. There's a midnight, and a yo 11, and we sevened out. And you're going all the way across. Playing 110 and you get those point sevens. It is ugly. Alright, three more shooters. Here we go, and then we'll tally up the see where we stand. There's an eight. This guy's just patiently playing over here. He's only had a few hits. Why is it? I don't understand that, but oh well. That's how it should be, I guess. All right, this guy is playing the, oops, getting confused now, six and the eight. This guy needs some green, 110. He's in the third slot. And this guy needs some green. Sixty in the fourth slot. All right, we rolling, and that is terrible. Point seven. All right, collecting for the house. All right, let's get another point. Two more shooters left. We're going to total it up. All right, here we go. 
There's a 60. Here's Mr. Smarty Pants, in my opinion. Here's Mr. 110. 110. He's in the third slot. And 160 here. He needs some green. Mr. 160. It's a good sign when all my stuff's working out. He's in the fourth slot. is a pair of them. Midnight. Yo 11. And there's a 7 out. Oh. There again, this is not a strategy. This is just an experiment. I guess you could say. Alright. Coming out. Last shooter. And then we're going to total it up. We got an eight for a point. All right, Mr. Patient. He's right there. If this should work out, that means I did everything right. If ever, I use, there's 110. And that means I did everything right. And this one. 160, looky here, 160. All right, last shooter. And there is a five. It's gonna pay 35 over here. This one and this one. All right. We got a Yo 11. We got another Yo 11. And we got an 8. That's our point. All four of them getting paid on that one. Here we go. 
go. And it's the seven out. Oops, I flipped it over to a three, but it was a seven out. All right. Let's see what we learned from this experiment. All right. Let's cash them all in here. One, two, three, four, five. There's 50. is so I'll use a blue chip on that five hundred and twenty five dollars he lost seventy five dollars looks like this one won seventy something dollars all right here's five hundred here is a one hundred this one lost substantially This one has five twenty-five. This one has six fifty sixty-five. Six sixty-five. The big loser is this one. There's seventy-five right there. This one has five, nine, fifty, sixty-five, nine, sixty-five. Give me a minute for these totals here. You made it this far, you might as well wait for the total up, right? All right, this one won eighty-five. This one minus seventy-five. Give me just one minute. Minus four thirty-five. Sixteen hundred minus nine sixty-five. Minus six thirty-five. Okay. Hope that one thing we should have learned from this is don't play one sixty across and not do anything to help it regress or press or something because you lost $635 in this 10 shooter round. It could be different, but all of them should win or the other ones like this, you know, should win. That's pretty consistent rolls. What I had there, I had a couple long, a couple short. All right. The 110 inside lost 435. I thought this one would do better. It lost $75. That's playing the six and the eight. The guy that only played the eight, he made $85 and he only had 300 to start. What does this experiment tell us? It's not a huge sample size. I guess if you ran it for weeks, hey, one of you guys with the simulator run, run this over and over and over 5,000 times and see what the results are. Um, I can't say I crapped out, but Usually it did crap out. <laughs> All right.
right, y'all. I hope you enjoyed the video. 35 minutes. I think that's my longest video ever. Hope we learned something. Crappy says, don't crap out.